hello guys welcome to the channel today we will create this piece in FreeCAD in a few minutes so as you can see here we have the dimensions of this model so let's create this piece in FreeCAD create new file go to part design of bench and now create body create new sketch create new sketch in XY plane and now select the rounded rectangle tool and draw this rectangle and now go to cycle command and draw these four cycles and now let's continue this sketch so select these four cycles and make it equal So now select this command, symmetrical, select this point, this point, and now this origin point. And as, as you can see, we constrained this sketch, symmetrical. So now let's give dimension to this sketch. As you can see, we have 10 for the range of this fillet. We have 4 for the range of this cycle. And we have this dimension 8 and 50. So pick this tool 10 for the range of this fillet and 8 for the diameter of the cycle. And now pick this tool the distance between these cycles is 50. And the vertical distance between these two cycles is 8. So now the sketch is fully constrained. So close the sketch. Press on. Go to pad tool. And the length of this pad is 5. Press OK. And now create new sketch in X, XY plane. Switch to section view. Pick the cycle two and draw this cycle. So this cycle have a diameter of eight and a pad of twenty. Okay. So pick this tool. Set the diameter to eight. Close the sketch. And now pad two and change the length to. 25 because of 5 of this pad and press OK and now select this face no quick new sketch in YZ plane switch to section view and now use the ball line tool and draw this sketch here So this line must be vertical. Okay, so now let's give dimension to this sketch here. And as you can see, this, uh, this cycle has a uh, range of 25. Okay, and these have a diameter of wood. Okay, so let's set the dimensions here 25 and this point to this point 20 okay and the head of this line is 2.5 and this line have a length of 25 so close this sketch and now go to G groove 2 press ok so now we have this pocket so now select this face and create this sketch for this face use this command this arc command and draw these two arcs okay now draw these arcs 
and now pick these two tangent reference and make all of these arcs tangent okay so now we have this and now use the line tool and draw these, these two lines on the origin point select these two lines and make it construction geometry and now let's give dimension to this sketch so as you can see we have a radius of 3 to this arc we have that one to the length of this line so return use these two and say that the length of this line is that one the range of this arc is 3 okay choose this angle 2 select these two lines and set the angle to 24 no 44 and now select this line and this line and put this formal so now the sketch is full constraint so click close and now go to pocket tool change the type to triangle and press ok so we have this first pocket so now we have to do this another pocket we have six no we have six pockets so go to the combo view and select model and select this last operation this pocket and go to this tool polar pattern and you go to the number of occurrence and change it to six and press ok so as you can see we have finalized the design of this model what is missing is the fillets so first you select this edge so the fillet the edge of the fillet will be one so click this option eight and eight this edge If you have difficulty you can change to wireframe this will make the selection easy so now return to flat lines and we, as you can see we have the fillets so let's see this piece okay what's missing is this fillet so a this h2 and press ok so if you if you want to make this part looks like this piece follow these steps so select this edge and click on mouse and go to appearance you can change here the material to aluminum the shape color to red okay so now decrease these numbers here to one and here to one two close the sketch no close the this dialog and now go to part work bench select this face and this icon okay so again click control select all faces
so we selected all the faces so now what we have to do is to only change the shape color you can set this color and press ok and ok so as you can see we have we have this joint piece looks like this one So we finalized the design of this model. Thank you for watching this video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.